Hi everyone, welcome to this unbaking video. Today we're going to be making some Halloween sprinkle cupcakes and actually I'm going to share with you how to make some decoration for parties. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is working with my wax paper and I'm going to attach it to my table with two pieces of uh, tape. So I'm just going to start with my royal icing. Then I'm just going to actually show you two ways of doing this. First, I'm going to apply the yellow bit, which is kind of like a line in there. And then the orange one, kind of like bigger on the bottom and going smaller and kind of like in triangle away on the top. Then adding the white um, top. And then with my scrap tool or needle tool, I'm just going to work with the shape of it to just make it as I want it to be before it dries. The second option that I'm going to be showing you is pretty much the same. First, applying the white bit in a triangular way, then going with my orange, kind of like smaller on the top and a bit bigger on the bottom, and then finishing um, with the yellow bit, which is pretty much going to be um, a line. And then again, working with my needle tool or just a stripe tool to arrange everything as I wanted to dry. Then let it set. Then for my friendly ghosts, I'm going to be placing some random shapes, pretty much going for the head and then two arms in kind of like the bottom part like that, like curved. And be helped with your needle tool to just arrange everything as you want it to dry. So before the dries, I'm just going to be using some wooden wood technique to my eyes. I'm just going to apply two dots with my royal icing, which is in black. And that's gonna be actually it for my ghosts. And I'm just going to let the whole thing dry and set. And it's pretty important, by the way, for you to work with the smoothest part on the top of your wax paper. It's gonna be much easier to peel off the figure. So yeah, once your figures are dry and set, peel them off from the wax paper. And then I'm just going to be taking my cupcake, which is just a cake mix a box. And I'm just going to place my frosting or my swirl in there. I'm using a Wilton 2D um, piping tip for this. So pretty much just going to be placing my sprinkles like randomly wherever I want to place them. Make it as busy or as, you know, as minimalistic as you want to. The size of your sprinkles pretty much depends on your personal taste. And here's for the ghosts. And then at the end, I added some sprinkles, white sprinkles, just to complete the whole decoration of my cupcakes. And that's pretty much it as far as for the cupcakes go. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make this decor or just base for the cupcakes. It's pretty much just painting the whole thing as I'm doing right here. I'm just going to be showing you a few of them. First, and like the orange, this is how I painted. And once that was dry, I just went ahead and added a few patterns. This one, for instance, is like a spider web in white and pretty much just drawing the whole spider web with a really thin brush and my white acrylic paint. And don't worry about using acrylic paint when baking because your cupcake is not going to be actually touching the base. Then this is another example of like painting stripes of green and purple. You're gonna be able to see the purple at the end. Here's another one, another pattern, which is kind of like, um, I guess a bit abstract. I don't really know what the pattern this is, but kind of like, um, you know, painting swirls with the thin brush and yeah, just like that. You can pretty much customize it. This is another way of canvas, so you can, you know, go for whatever pattern you like. And here I'm just drawing some lines and in a kind of like pattern. And then in the opposite way, drawing a smaller line at the top to make like kind of crosses. And here is for the most effective, the easiest and the cutest one, actually, this is what I like the most. I'm using the back of my brush and some white acrylic paint and just going for a pocket dot pattern. Again, this is the easiest one and the cutest one. And this is simply as I would place my cupcakes on the top. There is no particular function of this basis, it's just for decoration again. But yeah, I just wanted to share both the ideas of the sprinkle cupcakes and the, kind of like the basis or just how do you call these things, the cupcake rubber plates? I don't really know. I just wanted to share this idea. I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
share it and give me a huge thumbs up. I honestly had so much fun with both the sprinkles and the wrappers. I think it's another way of canvas and you can add a whole new look to a table if you're going to have a, like a party or something like that. Happy Halloween if you celebrate it. Thank you for watching. I talk to you later. Bye guys.